Wait, what? That wasn't real. Oh, fuck off! Guys, I've had enough. <laughs> Hey guys, the time has come. I have never been more excited, yet disgustingly anxious to watch the final two episodes of a TV series. Like, I am just not, I know I'm not ready for this, but I can't wait any longer. I'm watching the final two episodes of Week um, Hero Class today and Finished on, what do we finish on? It was stressful. Um, I think I almost had a panic attack. Bumsook's like crossed over to the dark side and, and him and his new mates horrifically attacked Sien and it was awful to watch, to be honest. Um, but it was supposed to be Suho, but Sien kind of stepped in and took his place and yeah, that's what it ended on. So, <laughs> oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah, what are you doing? What? Is he just trying to like protect him and like sure. not, ru not ruin his birthday, I guess? Which is sweet, but also just tell the please. <laughs> Tears are already coming. It's actually two minutes into it. Ani,애가다칠동안어디서뭘했냐고그냥민는거잖아그렇게그냥말이야그때는몰랐잖아애가그냥큰줄알았지이렇게툭하면아플줄 <웃음> 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 시우아, 시우아. Okay, so that's like the first insight really that we've had to like Sian's like background. Like we haven't really known much up until now. We've known that obviously his parents are divorced. Like that it would that his mum's very work orientated and perhaps gives more attention to that than to him. Aside from that, we haven't really had much insight, so that's really interesting seeing that you know from when he was a very very small boy he was exposed to like <clears throat> conflict and, and, and arguments and, and that kind of stuff from a very young age um, which could be why he has the kind of demeanor that he has as a teenager where he's very serious he kind of shuts down conflict doesn't he like he doesn't take shit off people like he will confront them and perhaps that's because he grew up in a household where there was a lot of like comfort it was like a confrontational environment i think it's interesting that he has a broken arm in that clip because obviously he's now got a broken arm again hasn't he i think that's really interesting kind of like the mirroring of that um interesting <laughs> tripped on the stairs mate <laughs> 전부터 궁금했는데요. 언제부터 저한테 그렇게 관심이 많으셨어요? 뭐? Oh shit. 아니에요. It's interesting because I feel like the only person that he can't really like stand up to is his dad or his family. Like he can stand up to bullies and you know click his pen and stab them in the hand and stuff but he can't do that to his parents I think that's really interesting and I think that probably links in with his childhood as well of like being in that confrontational environment he finds it hard to 
being confrontational towards the people that kind of brought him into that world. I just realised I have a giant spot on my face. Um, mind your fucking business. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of like child childlike <clears throat> symbolism with Bumsuk. Like I think I'm, I think it was the last episode, two episodes ago. I can't remember where he's in like the fetal position. Obviously that links in with you know being born in your childhood and stuff, and then like hiding in the cupboard, like you know, all like scared is like a, it's like a child hiding from like an angry parent or like a monster or something. So I feel like there's a lot of kind of kind of um, symbolism with Bumsuk in regards to that, which is why I think a lot of his childhood is the main impact of, 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 of his trauma and why he's the way he is and why he's doing the things he's doing. Um, and that's really sad. That is not going to help him in the slightest. He's such a good person. <laughs> never misses school. He knows something's wrong because why would she not be at school? He never misses school. <laughs> and Mumsuk's not there. Oh my god. He's gonna find out what happened. He's still studying with a broken arm. This guy is a true, true hero. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 If it died, you'd all be in prison because he wouldn't have stopped Yungi from saying anything, so you'd all be in jail. Why are they just so unempathetic? <gasps> Did he hear? No? <laughs> That was beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> so like the fact that he that Suho didn't go over there to have a go at him and be like, why didn't you tell me? Which I feel like he could have done because he can be quite hot-headed. The fact he didn't do that 
and that he just went over to check that Sian was okay is really beautiful. <laughs> Am I crying? <laughs> like, one second. I'm not crying on camera, it's really embarrassing. That just shows how much like he genuinely cares and how much of like a friend they act like how close of a friend they actually are and how much Suho views him as a friend and like <sighs> what the hell is gonna happen in in the next hour because I just, <sighs> just, pretty, just pretty. oh no Alright son yeah oh. I just いや、ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。
he gets a kick out of doing that because he's never had that feeling. Maybe that's why he's so persistent on this because part of me is like, why wouldn't he just, you know, accept Suho's apology and then make up and be friends again? Like, do you know what I mean? So I'm thinking it's because he, he actually likes that kind of power because it's something he's never had and that's something, so he's always been the opposite. He's always been the one on the receiving end of that. <laughs> Suho's got a whim. Or maybe see and will see and will show up and they'll fight together. Ah. That's fucking cheating. Yeah. No, what the fuck? Where's Sian? Oh, fuck off. There's no fucking way. Oh my god. I'm not crying on camera because I'm the ugliest fucking crier you'll ever see. <sighs> I, I feel the way I felt when my granddad died. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> How is there going to be a happy ending with Suho dead? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Shinya, I should have proven a chance. Yen, 
いやんでしょ<笑><笑>でさあペコパーマーラージドライバーでリバンコはいドリバーじゃあ Oh my god, what I really like about that is like right at the beginning like it would always be Suho saying I'm hungry, let's go eat and Sim would be like you always think about food or like he'd always try and come up with some sort of excuse not to go and then like as a friendship continues he's the one who's like I'm hungry let's go eat and it's almost like he's you know you know like when you're really good friends with someone you start to pick up like things from them like mannerisms and the way they say things it's like that's happening and now he's dead <laughs> Oh my god, this is like symbolic also of how like he's just lost both his friends, isn't it? Like, Suho's gone, like literally fucking gone, gone gone, like forever gone, and Bum Sook is oh, fucking just going fucking downhill, man, like... Oh. He's on his own. Oh my god, he's on his own. And like the like the the way it's been shot, like how it's kind of the sun shining through the window, like it's it's lit in a way that's like um, conveys like happy happy feelings and good vibes. But like because we know obviously what's going on, like what's just previously happened with Bumsuk and Suho, like, and them getting up and leaving the, and the significance of that, it's like, Sian's now on his own and he's not in this this world anymore, like this this world where he's got two good mates and, and he's, they're gonna go and eat, you know? Fuck. Oh, stop it. I don't wanna see it anymore. <laughs> Well, they're gonna see that he's got loads of fucking injuries. I, I, oh. Wait, he's not in a body bag. Does that mean he's still alive? Does that idiot not fucking realise that he is literally the reason why this has happened to his son? Prick. I like how the the climax of um, all the the conflict, like all the fighting and stuff, coincides with the climax of the exams. Um, like I just think that's a nice kind of mirror to have when you're when it's a story about like schoolboys. And obviously, like one of the major things that happens when we go to school is that we have exams, and it's kind of everything builds up to that moment. And I feel like it's it's mirrored the way the structure of the show has built up to, you know. I mean, there's obviously a final climax because we've got a whole episode to go. So I like the fact that it's building up to that moment with the building up to the exams. I think that's like a clever way of doing that. Oh, he's, he can't do it. Is he alive? Is he 
Don't hide it. Don't hide it. Don't hide it. I hear a heart monitor. They've never been happier to see a, to see a character actually alive. <laughs> He's not in the right frame of mind to take a fucking exam. <sighs> What's he gonna do? He's gonna do something because he looks pissed. Shouldn't you? So I said. 병원에서 숨이라도 붙을게 하고 싶으면 은근히 말씀 잘 듣는 게 좋을 거야. I'm sorry, what did he just say? You better. 걔 병원에서 숨이라도 붙을게 하고 싶으면 은근히 말씀. Who the fuck is this man? And who the hell is he to threaten Suho's life? I'm sorry, but what the fuck? Yeah. All started with him. Oh, fuck. It's weird because part of me is like rooting for, it's like rooting for Sienna in a sense of like, yes, bitch, fucking batter him. But at the same time, I'm like, I just, I don't like watching him fall like deeper and deeper into this world of violence. Like I just don't, oh, it's really hard because I'm just pulled in two different directions, you know? And I don't know what's the right way, like the right way to feel. If there is a right way to feel, maybe there isn't. Maybe that's the point of the show is to like pull at your moral kind of compass of like, you know, what's what's right and what's wrong and what's the, like that whole, like there's that saying of like two wrongs don't make a right and like not to retaliate. Then it's like, well, actually, if you don't retaliate, what, what if it just keeps getting worse? Anyone who's been bullied or, who, or who's witnessed bullying knows that isn't the case. Like, bullying still fucking happens whether you retaliate or not. So maybe standing up for yourself is the only way, but then what if standing up for yourself just leads on to more and more and more and more violence? Like, it's just a never-ending fucking situation. Christ. Yes, the fucking pen. <laughs> Oh, the MMA fighter. I mean, it still not doesn't justify. Obviously, that does not justify what Bumsuk did, but like, it just shows that you know he's so like got so much like trauma and PTSD from growing up in such an unloving household that like he's clinging on to like the one and only friendship he's ever had. And because he felt like she was getting in the middle of it, that's just sent, that's just like sent him like on a spiral. Oh, I'm scared because I don't know if Sian can actually like beat this guy. Okay, like totally fucking irrelevant and I know, I know we're in the middle of watching a really tense scene, you know, and all the focus should be on the fact that like there's about to be a fight, but like the guy 
who plays the um, the 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 fighter, the um, MMA fighter or whatever. I know he's a terrible person, but like he's really fit. <laughs> <laughs> like he's seriously good looking. Okay. I'm just... They're just passing the blame on to like each other, aren't they? Like none of them can take responsibility. Like I'm pretty sure your sparring session had a little bit to do with the fact that Suho is now in the fucking hospital and almost died. Like. Oh my god. I don't even think I can show that on YouTube. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Here he comes. Fucking hell. Is that his next weapon of choice? The fucking fire extinguisher? Oh god, it is. Bitch, go into the exam. Fuck. Like he's he's literally fucking hit breaking point. He's absolutely gone mental, and I do not blame him in the slightest. Look, he's finding it so hard. It's not just like <laughs> anger, it's like it's like and, and physical violence, it's like genuine emotion. Like he does not want to hit Bumsuk, he does not want to hurt him, but like he's like for, probably feels like he's been left with no choice. And he doesn't know how to like end it all, like end this kind of cycle of violence. <sighs> He's not gonna hit him, is he? He's gonna... Because he knows it's not the answer. Emotionally, like wrenching, like what the fuck? Oh, 
Wait, why is the heart when it stops? She no. Sorry, my dear. Oh, fucking hell. Shoka. Wait, what? That wasn't real. Oh, fuck off! Guys, I've had enough. Is there a happy ending? Because I can't do this. Like, I can't. I don't want a flashback. I want to know what the fuck is going on. Oh, look at him smiling. He's in the Philippines, is he? Could you do your girl Tabanda? You mean a Chucky Timoni Ramio? You're not on the matter of Ginti Tonata. So harmonic cake of Kamambus on the Ronda Bunas man. Now that you're lucky to send it. This is not a happy ending. That is when you're not a Punir Chiman. Wanted to send him to juvenile detention. Are you fucking kidding me? I hate this man. If this is season two, Sia needs to fuck this guy up. Seriously. With a, pe a pen, a wrench, a fucking fire extinguisher, a stick, a, the, a, a pair of laces. Every weapon he's used in this season, he needs to use on that motherfucker because he's. I hate him. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, mate. I really wouldn't. <laughs> So iconic. Oh my god! <laughs> that was such a good ending. Guys, is there gonna be a season two? Oh my god. Guys, I'm trying a new boba flavor today. I've never had the strawberry popping balls. I do like it. I just prefer my mango popping balls. So this is present day me now. Um, all the reactions you've been watching um, for week here at Glass have been like pre-filmed. Um, it's like old footage. So in my second video, I briefly explained that the first video is in copyright hell um, and that it might not resurface for a while. Um, but I didn't want to stop watching the show because I was really hooked. So I carried on watching it, carried on filming myself. And then when the first video finally got released and actually did really well, I was like, oh, 
I should probably edit the rest of them. So that's what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. And now this is like me right now um, because I wanted to kind of be able to like do a little like um, overall kind of view of the show, my thoughts and, and feelings. I've had time to recover from the trauma that that show gave me. I also wanted, wanted the opportunity to say like, thank you to um, everyone who has watched any of these um, reaction videos. The first video hit like 1000 views. Um, the other day which is incredible like i have never had that many views on a reaction video before and it really means a lot to some people they might be thinking it's pathetic but for me that's really amazing so thank you to everyone who watched it's really nice when people comment their thoughts thoughts and feelings and we can have like a discussion i really love doing that so thank you i'm gonna talk about the show now weak hero class one i always forget to say the one because it just feels weird so yeah anyway so if you've been watching my reactions then you will probably already have gathered that i really really enjoyed the show i have never felt so many emotions watching a tv series and i genuinely mean that like i laughed i cried i felt sick i had to like take a moment to myself um i felt like such a strong connection with the characters and i feel like that's so rare nowadays like to feel so connected with characters i feel like a lot of the time characters can can come across really like one dimensional really flat but i feel like these characters felt so real and i think that is like one of the absolute main reasons why i love this show along with the fact there's shit tons of conflict and i love conflict i'm a conflict fiend the dialogue i really like the dialogue and i also the, the visual storytelling oh my god don't get me started um i mentioned quite a few times throughout that like these screenwriters are so clever in like they don't fit, like tell us anything like it's all visual like they don't tell us that um Xian is a i now know how to pronounce his name someone told me it's Xian, not Xian. so hopefully i'm now saying it right um but they didn't tell us that Xian was um studious they showed us um they didn't tell us that bum Suk was jealous of the friendship between young yi and um suho they showed us i could go on and i just feel like that's just a real signifier of like a skillful um storyteller and a skillful screenwriter more than anything i really look up to the show and the writers who 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 worked on it because it really is just phenomenal so in terms of like characters i just felt the characters is one of the massive strengths of the show i think i think the story wouldn't have the impact it has if the characters didn't feel as real as they do um and their you know the journeys that they go on in individually and then all together are just like heartbreaking but also they feel really real and um they're really easy to relate to i think and i think that's because they're like teenagers and like you know i'm not a teenager anymore but i was a teenager and like i relate to a lot of the stuff they went through so um i mean perhaps not the like taking down a gambling gang and stuff like that but but like the um the friendship troubles and the exams um and like part-time jobs and stuff like that like absolutely award-winning levels of acting i mean are you fucking kidding me the acting is phenomenal and even though they are all amazing like all three main characters are amazing i'm not taking anything away from any of them but park jihoon who played um Shin really stood out for me and I just think that obviously I watched this show over a month ago and the scene with Shein in the last episode when he's in the hallway and he's like screaming like what does he say leave me alone or something like that still sticks with me like I just think that scene is so powerful and it is literally because of his acting like I don't know how he does it but like you just in that moment when he's screaming at the teachers and, and everything you just want to scream with him like that's how connected you feel to him and his acting and that's how real he makes the char character feel like it's just it's flawless it's literally flawless i don't have anything bad to say about it it's literally one of the best shows i've ever seen i'm gonna go because i just feel like i'm just gonna keep going on and on and on but <sighs> i've said what i needed to say in the past four reactions or however many i've done um about characters structure themes everything it's perfect it's perfect i really hope there's a season two I don't know if there's more of the webtoon. I haven't even looked to see if a season two's been confirmed. I'm starting to like swear and like my headache's coming back because I'm thinking about this show again. <laughs> Before I go, I would like to ask that if anyone has any recommendations, especially like K dramas or J dramas to be fair, I really love Japanese cinema as well, that you would like to see a reaction to, then please comment them below. Um, they don't have to be K dramas or J dramas, they can be 
American stuff, English stuff, whatever. Um, if there's something you would want to see a reaction to, then let me know as um, I, I'll be happy to give it a go. I'm gonna go, um, gonna drink the rest of my boba and edit this video.